Let's do it. Let's go to, so why are we here? These are all kind of medical professionals um, who, and that we're kind of trying to aim and sort of go down the rehab, go down the, the experience route. Come, coming into hospital, what's your favorite part? Is it the gown? <laughs> <laughs> you know the hospital gown where your, your bum hangs out, hangs out the bed? Uh, or the food? <laughs> <laughs> well, probably when I was here, probably the food. Uh, Probably my, my least favorite memory of uh, doc, the doctor lifted my knee in the morning after surgery. I had a glass of wine before he operated on me. I was just joking. I want to join you. May the surgery go better. Yeah, no, but I must say the treatment that I achieved here was amazing. Okay. So, when you, so, I mean, you obviously had knee surgery and kind of the the sort of premise of the talks around knee injuries and knee surgery. So Mike's going to talk about on a few of the injuries and uh, Andrew's going to talk about knee operations. But when you have injured your knee, and uh, so this is a bit of a difficult question, but once you go through the process of the operation, etc., when you go home and you have to start rehabbing, how do you know that you know, you're ready to get back into it? Do you find it's a process and you sort of push through it and you're on the field working through pain, or do you feel like you rest it and then you get back when it's completely healed? Yeah, I think we're in a fortunate position as rugby players to have uh, good people around you. Uh, we've got a doctor at the shops, physios, uh, Jimmy and Elmi that's here that, that works with the injured guys, and, and obviously you in the hands of, of Dr. Andrew, who's an amazing surgeon. So. To know and to have that uh, peace of mind that you have all those people, uh, it helps, it helps them quite a bit, uh, and they obviously guide you. I mean, it's not the first injury they've worked with. So if you play the guys before you, so um, they make it easy for you. I think you just have to wake up every morning with a positive attitude and mindset, and they will guide you. Uh, yeah, you should be guided. Yeah. Just in terms of like your enthusiasm to get back, you obviously there's timelines, there's 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 test matches. Do you, do you try and sometimes push push the envelope in terms of thinking, I'd really like to get back to that? Or is it kind of a case, right, I know I'm in the system, I'm in the hands of, of Jimmy and the team. Um, you know, is that where the sort of the faith is placed? Or do you sometimes try and kind of push back a bit? Yeah, that's always my first question of the surgery. Listen, how long I'm going to be out for? And then if the doctor or Jimmy tells me eight weeks, I tell him I'll be back in six. <laughs> <laughs> So you always try to, you always want to get back on the, on the field, it's not nice uh, on the sideline not being able to, well first of all, train with the guys and also play because uh, that's why we want to be on the field uh, game day. So I think that's always, well, I think any rugby player's first question is, is when can I be back mm -hmm. and well, what's the boundaries that, that can be pushed down? Yeah, and uh, do you guys at the Sharks have any specific remedies that you do to get like are you big fans of ice baths or heat packs i know there's plenty of physios or patients that always say you know should i be icing my leg or should i be putting heat packs to you do you do any of that sort of thing when you do your rehab yeah i think at the initial stages of surgery i think icing is, is quite important uh, i think and also each to his own i mean you, you find what works for you uh, so that first couple of weeks of the surgery icing is probably the best thing you, you, you can do, uh, you obviously get to a physio, but you can't really start training yet. You can't really do much on your on your knees. So um, yeah, like I said, it depends what stage you you're at. And as soon as you can start doing more rehab, then the rehab becomes more the focus focus area. Then I think that's will take over. Yeah. 